Hi guys, it's Mark from Flowthemes, and today I'm going to give you an overview of how to set up a GDPR form for your website. You will need three elements to your website to start to make it GDPR compliant. One, you will need a privacy policy. Two, you'll need a cookie policy. And three, you're going to need a flow forms with a checkbox to get consent from your users and also a way to link to your privacy policy. And I'm going to show you how to do that with flow forms very quickly. If you would like to learn more about privacy policies and cookie policies, and maybe you, need, you want some templates, you can find lots of those online. You can also head over to termsfeed.com and generate a uh, privacy policy and a cookies policy for your site as well. And that may be very useful for you. And it's a quick and easy way to get one of those created. So let's make the form compliant. And then you'll want to head over to Flow Forms. So first thing, go over to your WordPress backend, go to Flow Forms. And then you can choose the contact forms on your site. Now, you should add this to every contact form on your website. Anything that is collecting personal information, you do not need to have consent. So if anyone is uh, collecting information from clients uh, inside of the EU, you must have this on your form. So the first thing we're going to add is a message block. So let's just click message block. And in the message block, you have the uh, visual and text editor. And in here, we can actually link to uh, the form. So I'm just going to add some verbiage in here. And basically in this, I'm uh, saying you must confirm that you give consent uh, to us for collecting information uh, for the purpose of X, Y, and Z. You can read full details here in our privacy policy. Now to create a link, you can just highlight any piece of text, hit the little link tab, add the link here. If you want to open that in a new tab, just hit the little uh, gear icon, hit open link in new tab, and you can hit update. If you want to highlight that, you can also press uh, command underscore or command G, sorry, that will underline it um, just so it's more clear on the site. The next thing you'll want to do again is go to add field and you'll want to add a checkbox. And here we can actually remove the field label. Technically, you can keep that if you would like, but in this case, it's going to look cleaner if we remove that. So first thing you'll want to do is then click required. This is something that you need to have, as in they have to confirm if they would like to send their information. Uh, so it is a required field. And then in the first choice field, you only need one. Uh, you can add some verbiage to say that I confirm that I understand the privacy policy and I consent to the collection of my information. With these two pieces on your contact form, you will then be able to start collecting that information uh, correctly and uh, safely. So just go ahead, save the form. Uh, if you haven't added it to a page already, go ahead and add it to a page. I have, so I'm just going to update my form uh, so you can see how that looks. So again, here it says you must give consent, you can review the privacy policy, and then the user must click I confirm that they understand the policy before they submit their information. So that's all you have to do, folks. Just create the privacy policy. Again, the cookie policy as well will be relevant for the large majority of you. And then finally, update your flow forms, and you're good as gold to get started with GDPR. So go ahead and update your forms, and if you have any questions, just let us know.